What's up everybody? It's Kyle once again with another video for you. Now let me briefly explain the way I became one of the leading experts on mental fitness and mind mapping in the world I might add is there's rarely been a day in the past 20 years when I did not study mindset or apply mindset principles and I teach a lot of it and I do this because I've struggled with my mind so this is not coming at you of a place of I'm perfect with this all growth comes from deficit all strengths are born out of weakness if you so choose but the article I put out yesterday is about reframing this is the number one skill that should be taught in schools, if we actually had normal schools right now, but the number one skill that should be taught in all school schools is reframing. Now, what this means, and this is why mental fitness, because if you don't have your mental fitness, your physical fitness will never be where you want it to be. If you can reframe, you take your power back. So here's how this works. The brain does not like open loops. So picture you got a circle but it's not connected. So we have this gap right here. Okay, so you got a gap. Now, the brain likes prediction and response. It likes prediction and response. To do that, it needs to close this gap to move forward. This is how your favorite TV shows, your favorite series that you watch or read, work. They leave you hanging. They know how the brain works. Maybe they just know intuitively some of these people or some of these people have actually studied the brain. But they know that if they don't close that gap, the brain is going to crave that. It wants to fill that gap. So it's got to watch. This is why you binge watch. This is why you, you'll go on a bender on Netflix and, and watch 12 shows in, in, over the course of a weekend. So how do you, you use this? Your brain will give you an answer to anything you ask of it. Let me repeat that. Your brain will give you an answer to anything you ask of it. When a problem comes up, when a situation arises, and it seems like it's a big obstacle, first of all, know that struggle is imperative for a rich life. But ask yourself, what is great about this problem? What is going to help me Okay, how is this situation going to help me become the greatest version of myself? But I like the one, like I just said, what is great about this problem? And then actually take time to write down. Because when you journal, and I'll do another mental fitness video on this, you bring the human part of your brain back online. You, you dampen the emotion, which is coming from the animal brain, from the mammalian brain, the midbrain. You take that and, and you, you slow down your thoughts and you start writing out Okay, you bring the human brain back online, you get clarity. What's great about this problem? Write it out. And I'll give you a real simple one to do. Write out what's been great about this COVID pandemic over the past 11 months for you personally. What great has happened in your life? What great has it made you realize? What great has it brought in? What weaknesses has it made you realize that you're going to work on? How has it made you focus more on the things that are truly important in your life? That's the number one skill. Reframing. You got to get yourself some practice with this. Hit the like button, please. Hit the share button. I'll be posting this on all the Newell Strength pages. And on those pages, I'll put the link for our 33 principles to win at life. Maybe I'll put that in the comment section here. Thanks for all the support. Hit the like, hit the share, like I said. See you guys later. Peace.